Hi, I'm Tracy Desjardins. I run an eclectic group of restaurants and I'm a restaurateur and chef from San Francisco. Today we're going to make petrali sole with uh, roasted beets and celery root. We're going to start with the beets. Um, I have these gorgeous gold beets and these chiogas, which are called candy striped as well. I don't use the red beets. They can be used in this recipe, but the red color just bleeds out and then you lose all the, the sort of beauty of, of the different colors. So starting with the beets, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil. These have been washed and scrubbed. The greens have been removed. I'm going to put these into a little foil packet and let them roast in the oven for about 40 minutes. You want to seal the package up and let them cook. Okay, so these are our beets. I'm going to open this up a little bit. Yeah, so they're nice and tender. Um, if the beets are larger, they're going to take a little bit more time, but these are gorgeous, ready. I'm going to let them cool off and then I'll come back to peeling them. Next, we're going to prepare the celery root, and I want to get the um, white wine and stock uh, mixture ready for that. So I have my white wine, and I am just going to reduce that down. It changes the flavor. You don't want to have a raw white wine flavor in your sauce. So I'm going to reduce this down by about half, let all the alcohol blow off. That'll be the cooking um, liquid for the celery root. Now we have our celery root. Take this and peel it. Um, much easier to do with a knife than a peeler. It's pretty hard and you want to take off a good amount of the outside. It's sort of like cutting the skin off of a pineapple. It's a root vegetable. It's creamy and delicious. You can make like a mashed potato kind of thing out of it. It's a bulb that grows below the um, surface of the ground. So it's usually kind of dirty. You want to wash off the outside. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these into about two inch long batons. I'm going to have them relatively the same size in terms of thickness. All right, there we have our celery batons. So I'm going to get the celery root going on the stove, uh, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, now we're going to prepare the beets. Um, they have cooled off a little bit, and I'm going to take these little beauties and peel them. You can do this with your fingers. You can do it with a paring knife. It comes off pretty easily. You usually need to um, cut the root end a bit, trim off of any sort of brown bits on there and any sort of remaining root particles. Mostly I'll cut them in halves. Larger ones I can cut into quarters. I would say that the gold beet tastes a little bit more like a red beet, uh, and the chioga has a little bit more of a kind of um, floral, fruity quality to it. So we have the celery root. It's got a nice little sizzle happening. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the um, vegetable stock. I'm gonna add the white wine to it, and let that braise a little bit until it's nice and tender. In addition to the celery root and the roasted beets, I have a nice array of herbs here. I have chervil, tarragon, and chives, all of which will be um, used as garnish and in the sauce for beautiful flavor. Here we have some lovely local petrali sole. We've trimmed off the ends of this, trying to, to get a sort of even thickness with the fish. You could use halibut, sea bass, lots of different fish that would actually be fine. Uh, a, a white fish is uh, best for this, something that's a little bit delicate and it's going to marry with those nice flavors of the celery root and the beets and the Meyer lemon. I'm going to go ahead and cook my petrali sole, um, seasoning it with salt and pepper on both sides. You want to make sure that it's, it's, it's nice and dry. Um, you don't want it to be super wet when you put it into the pan. Um, I'm going to get my pan nice and hot. Um, the real trick to cooking fish and getting a nice crispy brown um, crust on it is that you want to make sure that you don't crowd the pan and cool it down too much. I'm going to cook this in just a little bit of a neutral oil. Um, it could be grapeseed, it could be a rice bran, something that's got a fairly high smoking point so that it doesn't scorch while you're cooking the fish because that would give it a bad flavor. And you want to make sure that you've got a nice heavy bottom pan. Most people who cook fish at home though, I definitely recommend using an on-stick pan. That works really, really well. Or cast iron. Okay, while those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and finish my celery root. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to that. Uh, it's been cooked with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil just to kind of thicken that sauce up a little bit. I'm going to add Meyer lemon zest, a little bit of Meyer lemon juice. Now I got a nice little brown color on there. And my fish is looking good. 
my sauce is ready, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to add my chervil and tarragon to it. I'm going to add my beets to the uh, mixture. And there is our beautiful sauce and beet mixture. And now we're ready to put it all together on a plate. I'm going to chop a few of these chives to garnish the plate with. You can see that the celery root gets a little bit of color from the gorgeous gold beets. And I'm just going to put this here on the plate. Set on top. I'm going to garnish it with the chives, tarragon leaves, a little bit of chervil sprigs. Spoon that over the fish. And here we have our sautéed petrolli sole with roasted beets, celery root, chervil, and Meyer lemon.